My name is Chris Christo, I'm the Director of Engineering at Exponentially. My role and responsibility is to look after the delivery of our customer solutions, to grow our infrastructure and to support those customer solutions during their life cycle. Exponentially provide cloud and unified communication and collaboration solutions. This is all underpinned by our core network asset which we see as a key differentiator. We're 460 people in size, currently £120 million annual revenue and what really drives our growth is technology and innovation. We provide services globally but our network presence is, is in UK, Europe and the USA. So Exponentially are taking their customers on a journey to the cloud. Most of our customer solutions involve us transitioning our customers from traditional technologies to this new age of SaaS based services and cloud based services. We saw SD-WAN as a platform that would allow us to support the agility and the speed at which customers want to transition and, and achieve their business outcomes. We also saw it as a good opportunity to streamline our own uh, operations for service delivery which was becoming quite a problem in terms of stitching the network to the new cloud environment. The second part really for us was to create a new service creation platform for our customers so that we could um, provide new services to our customers and to um, create opportunities for revenue growth and also revenue retention for our existing customers through this innovation um, and new technology. So firstly we did look at multiple uh, solutions when we were going through our selection process on Software Defined Data Centre and Software Defined WAN. The reason we chose Nuage was for a number of reasons. One that became very apparent to us was the network pedigree was there. We knew the Nokia platform from before. Uh, our core network is a Nokia platform so we understood the operating system and the capability very well. When we actually did the proof of concept and the proof of value of the solutions, we saw that the new Arch solution met our requirements for our use cases very well, and there was a, a real strategy alignment between our companies, between Exponentially and new Arch, in terms of looking at the bigger picture, providing that branch connectivity all the way into the multi-cloud environment, uh, whether that pub be public or private cloud. So that was a, a, a key decision making process for us once we saw that. And the integration between the data centre, cloud network and the wide area network was very good um, and, and we felt that that would deliver our requirements perfectly. Something else that was very important to Exponentially was to choose an open platform. As we know not all vendors are open. Um, the, the key for that is the future, the future evolution of the platform, making sure that we can create an ecosystem of different vendors and different services that could play and fit together. I think that's a challenge in the industry um, at the moment. It's been a challenge for a long time. So I think taking small steps towards those open architectures and making sure we're making the right decisions will stand us in good stead for the future. So really when we looked at the technology and its capability, the, the devil is in the detail. We saw very quickly that the new Arch solution provided us with an optimal routing solution because it penetrated deep into the cloud environment so the architecture and the way that it's set up um, allows end-to-end -end micro segmentation which allows us to build on the security the new age of security in wide area networks and cloud environments and that was always a very key differentiator for us because our strategy as a company is to develop our security portfolio um, and grow that business unit within our company so security for us is a, is a, a very important topic um, add, adding to that the flexibility and the security um, policy control that we could apply from the branch site all the way into the cloud regardless of where the cloud is the public cloud whether it's Amazon Azure or exponentially is private um, cloud solution so one of the other differentiators that we saw in New Arch was um, what they call disjoint underlay and their solution to a disjointed underlay. So one of the misconceptions in the SD-WAN industry is that you can just deliver any internet service and pay another network and overlay an SD-WAN service on top and you'll get optimal performance. That's not the case. By creating a disjointed underlay, which really means you use, in a simple example, an internet cloud and a another cloud like a private VPN. How do you link those two together when all of your remote sites are connected to both so that you create an, an optimal routing path between sites? For example, one site could be operating on one of the underlays and another site 
on the other underlay. So you need a mechanism in place to deal with that. And Nuage have thought, th thought that through and built that into their solution. So when Exponentially started out on this journey, this new innovation and technology, we started off with a clear vision to deliver a service that we knew would work, that was stable and secure. And it was very much focused on the, the basic foundational network concepts, but in an automated way, so a, a key focus on automation. As we move forward and from a future perspective, our vision is to create an ecosystem with uh, an open system with multiple vendors, multiple services that our customers can consume very easily in an agile way so that we can support their business objectives, but also for us to tap into new geographic markets. So for example, we are now bidding for more international connectivity solutions and SD-WAN fits the bill perfectly on some of these um, geographic regions where connectivity is very expensive and very hard to come by.